Hello, fellow pipers. Typing Piper here, enjoying some um, three nuns in this squirty. Dry it out a bit. Had to rehydrate it. Kept it in the tin. So I added a few drops of uh, distilled water and let it sit for about a week. Definitely smoothed it out a bit. It's smoking really well. Definitely got the uh, flavor back that it had when uh, I first opened the tin. So it's still January, middle of the month now. Yeah, a friend and I were talking about um, things we want to do for this coming year. So of course we talked about the usual stuff, you know, writing, um, careers, vacations, things like that. And then I said to him, you know, I really want to learn my, uh, learn about cigars and whiskey. I mean, like Irish and Scotch and, um, sours and, you know, all the different types, how they're made, what they taste like. So why whiskey? Well, seems like it's very popular in the YTPC. Seems like everybody's enjoying a glass of whiskey with their, uh, with their pipes. I know there's got to be like some some education, something behind it, you know. When I was when I was a young lad, I did enjoy um, some uh, Jack and Coke and some rum and Coke, but. Um, Jack Daniels was one of those things, um, you know, uh, a, a good beer, a good amount of beer will um, get me going. Vodka uh, is like kryptonite for me. Um, absolutely hate it. Um, can't t my my body cannot tolerate it. I don't know why it's so different. Maybe it's because I'm so American. Anything that was created by Russia. Absolutely not. But, uh, no, uh. The few times I've had, uh, whiskey, I don't remember even getting a buzz. So I don't know if it was the situation. Maybe I was having a nice meal with it. There does seem to be something different with it and how it affects me. Of course, the, the few times I did try it, I wasn't exactly trying to get drunk either, so it's never my goal. Get a nice buzz going, that's about it. So really, uh, I just want to do this as like a learning experience and know what's good, what's not. Mostly said so if I'm out and about, if I'm talking to people, they're like, yeah, you know, I wanted to get into whiskey, and uh, I don't know where to start. I can just say, well, what do you enjoy? What do you like to drink? I would suggest this, this, and this.
or maybe I don't feel like having a full pint of beer. I'd rather just have like um, a shot or two of something to sip on. That's the downside of beer, man. Getting all bloated and feeling fat all the time. So cigars. Um, okay, the few that I did try, and again, this was <laughs> this was almost 20 years ago. Of course, Swisher Sweets. Um, Aside from the sugar on the outside, uh, not that enjoyable. Uh, I remember trying some of those backwoods, and they were just really sloppy and cumbersome. They make great pipe tobacco, though. I, I will admit that. When they started making pipe tobacco, which I think was last year, couple I ordered those were pretty good um, was it black and mild or golden black or black and gold I don't I don't remember they have like those uh, plastic tips on them I always enjoyed how those smelled however I feel like they're regarded as like white trash or ghetto cigars. But what does that say about me? I actually think they smell pretty damn good compared to a lot of the shit people smoke. But, uh... There's a cigar shop downtown. Uh, guy's been there forever. The cigar shop is... I've seen pictures of a cigar shop in the exact same spot from 1919, I think. So, the shop has been there. Of course, it's not the same owner. But that thing's been there forever. And they have one wall that's a huge humidor. And they smell the uh, usual uh, Macanudo and, um, what was it, Cohiba. Um, they pretty much got everything in there. And comparing prices with what's in the catalogs, there really isn't that much of a markup. The only thing I have to get my head around is paying five or six bucks for a smoke when this is what, like 30, 40 cents? When it comes to cigars, I don't know what I would like. I have absolutely no idea. Um, Of course, I feel like I should try, like, they come in different sizes, you know, there's the, um, I'm not even going to try to remember the names of the sizes. They have all different shapes, shapes and sizes, I want to learn that. But I, I, from what I saw, it looks like you can get the same cigar, but like, you know, they have like the the big ones, but then you can also get the little stubby ones, but it's the same it's the same type. So maybe I'll just get a bunch of little stubbies and uh, go from there. And again, um, unless I find something that I really like, it's more just education. I want to know what they taste like, what they smell like. But honestly, most of the cigars that I've smelled, and I, 
it's all the time. There's always guys sitting out on the uh, picnic table in front of the cigar shop on the mall smoking. And usually they smell like shit. It's very rare that I see somebody smoking a cigar and think, well, that actually smells pretty good. So that, that's going to be a big part of it, trying to find out what the appeal is. And if I don't, well then, I know that I'm a pipe guy and uh, cigars are definitely not for me. But it would be nice to, you know, have one of those conversations of like, oh, you ever try a cigar? And I'll be like, yeah, you know, you should try a have some kind of answer. Otherwise, aren't I just being a pipe snob? What's wrong with that? Why can't we just enjoy a pipe? But if, if you haven't noticed it, I have, where a lot of these cigar companies um, are diving into the uh, pipe business. I do have a tin of Cohiba downstairs. I'm pretty sure that uses cigar leaf. Uh, pipes and cigars, they carry a brand called Mark Twain. They're starting to make pipe tobacco. And I don't know if it's the same tobacco they use for their cigars, but I'd actually like to try both. It's just, um, I ordered from Pipes and Cigars once. I, I find their website really cumbersome. Um, Bulldog, the uh, London English uh, pipe tobacco that I really enjoy. They're starting to make cigars, which is kind of the opposite. So that's kind of where I'm heading. And it's not going to be like a big adventure. It's going to be like a little bit here and there. I have all year. Don't really need to dive into it and spend a lot of money. So that is one of my goals for uh, 2019. It's getting freaking cold. I'm tired of holding my phone. And I'm hoping this pipe is almost done. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but not the weather. So, having said that, hope everyone is having a good week. It's only Tuesday. And, um,. Didn't really feel like talking about politics today. So, um, I think one of my next videos, um, I'm going to leave off with the recent, um, is it the Ground Up show? Matt Diavella. He's got a YouTube channel. Check him out. He did his, uh, 12 things to 12 habits to improve your life he's doing this uh, cool thing this year some of the stuff I didn't agree with but not didn't agree with stuff I just wouldn't try like going caffeine free not with having a kid absolutely not um, anyways um, you know that kind of got me on track with like what do I want to do this year so I would check out his video. He's got some good ideas on, on how to do things. Instead of trying to do everything at the beginning of the year and then feeling like a loser when <laughs> New Year's comes around again. But, uh... Anyways, um... Hope everyone's doing good. And, uh... Talk to you later. Keep on typing.